this is the most important year of your life, period of your life. You want to be a doctor, you want to be a technician, you want to be a cameraman, you want to be a singer. Don't let anybody kill your dream. Because when they kill your dream and then they force you to study law, what happens is that when you graduate as a lawyer, you will drop that law and come and carry that mic and sing your song. Every single one of you has a voice and you need to bring out that voice to the world. Whenever you want to take decisions in your life, there are people that pull you down. You need to leave them alone because your friends determine your values. Your values determine your decisions. Your decisions determine your actions and your actions determine your results. If your results are wrong, check your actions. If your actions are not the best, check your decisions. If your decisions are not working, check your values. If your values are not the best, check your friends. If you want to change your future, change your friends. Simple. A man rejected at birth by his mother because of his skin color miraculously became a global figure, impacting lives and transforming nations. Mbong Thompson King was born on August 22, 1972 in Obanikoro, Lagos State, Nigeria, where he also had his primary and secondary education. However, before he would graduate from secondary school at the age of 13, while in junior high school 3, he lost his dad, who was 39 years old at that time. During the period of his father's death, it was a bitter discovery for him and his four other siblings. His father had another woman with four extra children. Nevertheless, he took on the mantle of stewardship, providing for the big family as a breadwinner. He worked hard to sponsor himself through the University of Calabar where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in agriculture. If you are going to win tomorrow, listen to this instruction that it is your target that determines your direction. In multiple interviews he granted, Ubon King revealed that he was chased out of his father's house, his friends and even a relative house when he seek refuge several times in his life when things were hard for him. On many occasions, his mother will abuse him physically and mentally due to his dark skin. However, his life would change for the better when he had three car accidents within two days. In one of the accidents, he had no idea one of them was a witch doctor. The man will later inform him that he should thank his God that he, Ubon King, was a good person. As a result of that, he will spare his life. Again, in another car accident, he mistakenly hit the car of a bishop of a church who later took him in to taught him about the Holy Bible and nurtured him in the Christian faith for several years. In 1997, while squatting in a friend's house in Uyo, without a ring, Ubon King went ahead to propose to his wife, Ambassador Ivy King. In his own words, he said, She said yes, even when she knew that I had nothing. She was discouraged by many to change her mind and was asked a question which she told me, Why stay with Ubong when he can't buy you a bottle of Coca-Cola? When she told me, I looked up and down. I looked at her and said the choice to stay was hers. They would later get married in the year 2002 and got blessed with four lovely and brilliant children the man is an inspiration do not forget to hit the subscribe button to see more inspiring stories on my youtube channel and also you can share this video to inspire someone positively today and if you can watch this video to the end i will reveal to you the most important thing he did in his life for his wife After his university, he went into peak business and later on, he ventured into the security industry and with previous experience as a volunteer team leader of a security unit in his church, he had his first company called Dadit. To advance his professional life, Ubon King secured a position as a security coordinator in NBC, Apapa, Lagos State, Nigeria. After gathering years of experience and with permission from his wife, Ubon King started another security company called Protection Plus Security Service Limited, using his bedroom as a company office. Within a short period, Ubon King grew the company to greater heights, establishing in six different countries with over 2,000 staff. And in 2017-2018, he began to speak at leadership and business seminars, emptying himself free of charge to whoever was ready. Ubon King contributed positively towards the growth of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal of No Poverty. And as a result of his achievements in 2016, the African Child Foundation awarded him the African Child Prize for Integrity, Security, Intelligence 
Adding up to his experience, Ubon King enrolled in a business experience course in Brazil, where he obtained executive master's degree in business administration from the Metropolitan School of Business in Brazil. He was also a part of the Nigerian German Business Association and was also an active member of the Poland Africa Business Forum. Ubon King is one of the few lucky recipients of the most prestigious Star Award in Maritime Security, handed to him by the Crime Reporters Association of Nigeria. He also served as the chairman of the American Society of Industrial Security Lagos State, winning several other honors and was also an old grad of the famous Lagos Business School, Nigeria. In 2015, Ubon King bought a vessel worth millions and named it after his wife as a way of saying thank you to her for standing by him through Think and Think even when he was unable to buy her a bottle of Coca-Cola. That is so incredible, so romantic. A troublemaker, as he was popularly called, passed on to be with the King of Kings on December 26, 2020, at the age of 48, due to COVID-19 attack in Lagos State, Nigeria. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till I see you again in my next video, be productive and stay safe.